So this is your theme, right, Ariadne? Ancestry in that? Yes. See, this poem never would have been written if Ariadne didn't have a theme. I never would have written this. But the people I visited, their relatives, back in New Brunswick this summer, are going to be thrilled to death and thankful to you forever because I've done this poem about their relatives, too. And it's called Settler's Stone. I wonder what the weather was like June 3rd, 1766, at Hall's Creek, where the St. John and Petty Kodiak River merged together in Moncton, New Brunswick. Almost 250 years ago, my great-great-great-great-great-great maternal grandfather, Matthias Summer, was a founding settler of Moncton, New Brunswick. Before Canada and America were born, before the provinces and the states came to be, there was simply North America. Benjamin Franklin sent eight families up from Pennsylvania in 1766 to settle the area around Moncton, which wasn't called Moncton then, it was just the area. I believe it was called the Bend. Matthias Summers' name appears on the commemorative plaque in the stone statue at Halls Creek. The site and monument are known historically and still today as Settlers landing. I'm very proud of my historical Canadian roots on my mother's side, as well as my historical Scots genealogy on my parental, paternal grandmother's side. Sir James Mackintosh, Scots House of Commons, 1820 to 1832. Lord Mackintosh, Scots Parliament House of Lords, 1721. Continuing on today, there's a tenth Lord somewhere in Africa, I think, living there. And I wish I could have known them all. I wonder what the weather was like June 3rd, 1766 at Halls Creek, where the St. John and Petty Kodiak River merged together in Moncton, New Brunswick. Thank you.